Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I got Super Chick Lacquer's Throwing Shade. I'm going to stamp and play with some stickers. I started with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Throwing Shade Insane Blue Hollow. This rascal is gorgeous. It stamps, it water marbles, and it goes on like a dream. Watch this. Seriously, one coater if you're that kind of person. I'm a two coat person so we're gonna do two coats but you could so get away with one coat I like that I like that they dry fast so this is one of those paint your nails and get out the door kind of polishes or I've had a rough day I'm just gonna paint my nails and go to bed it's a quick easy mani I love it here is my second coat of throwing shade love the brush on this one and the handle it's really easy to use and I will be topping this one today with Super Chick Lacquer's Marble Liquid Macro Top Coat. I save it for my Super Chick polishes which I probably already mentioned before but it's true and this isn't the only brand that I do that with I've got a couple other brands that I save their top coat for their polishes kind of funny like that you know we all have our funny ways I'm being sure to cap that tip there we go beautiful all on its own so today I'll be stamping with Nicole Diary NS01 the white and my Conad stamper and my clear jelly scraper I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang XL007 I'm gonna pull these clouds off and put that on my thumb pointer and pinky today I know I'm not like technically gonna be leaving any um, just nails and just have accent nails. I am doing something to all of them, but I'm stamping on three and stickers on two. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna do that again so that we can get that on the pointer finger or the index finger as some people call it. Um, I always call it pointer finger because that's what I do with mine. And these images, I said it when I swatched this plate, they're etched beautifully. They pick up and transfer like a dream. Love, love the Beauty Big Bang plates. And no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> but I am a fan. I'm a serious fan. I mean, those lines just look perfect clouds. I've got perfect clouds on that blue, perfect blue polish. Love it. I'm going to be using these Maggie Co. stickers. I have no idea where I got these. Um, I'm going to use the little twigs because I'm going to make like little branches for my little birds to stand on or hang out on. And I tried using the tweezers, but they're just, they're just not working for me today. So I'm going to try to use my fingers, which is also proving difficult, but I am going to do this. So I'm putting the branches down first and then I'm going to put birds on them. Um, like I said, I don't know where I got these stickers. It's very possible that they came from AliExpress or um, Born Pretty, you know, someplace like that. Or I might have even won them in a giveaway. I'm not really sure. I've had them forever and decided today was the day to break them out and use them. So I have pushed those down the best I can and rubbed them with a paper towel. I really want them to lay as flat as possible. And I'm going to pick a couple of different birds off of these sticker sheets and apply them. Here I'm trying to use them tweezers again. I know that's not going to work. Just I have so much trouble with that. They get stuck to the tweezers and then I end up, you know, making a mess. So my fingers work better. As you can see, I'm rubbing that down just as best I can. I don't play with stickers much because I have trouble getting them to be really flat. And, um, you know, I've, I've tried all the different ways. Some stickers are just thicker than others. Um, these are pretty thick. I didn't have any trouble with them, like, folding in on themselves or, uh, you know, like, tearing or anything like that. So they're good stickers, but I just have trouble getting them, like, really smooth. These I did pretty good on. You're actually going to see a success story today for me with these. I'm going to go in with some tape and get that extra stamping off of my fingers before I do my top coating. 
This white's coming up pretty good today with the tape. You know, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Today's doing pretty good though. I'm liking it. Now I'm a tape crazy woman. And here we go with some acetone and my cleanup brush to do our final tidying up. I just really like to have mine done and clean before I do top coat. Because after I do top coat, I don't want to run the risk of messing something up. Like at this point, if I mess something up, I can fix it and then top coat it and be done. <laughs> there we go. I'll be using the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat on the nails that I stamped over. I'm really, really happy with this Smudge Free Top Coat. It's the only one I've ever tried, but I'm really happy. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So there we go. And now I'm going to top everything off with some posh top coat. The little birds. Try to get a nice, good, smooth layer over them. And I'm going to cap that tip. Hopefully get a good wear out of this manicure. That's normally what I have, is I have tip wear, because I don't leave my manis on long enough to really get into the chippage. So, you know, tip wear is what I end up with. That's why I'm pretty conscious about doing that, capping the tips with colors and top coats. Oh, and base coats, too. I'm going to leave them out. So here it is, my final mani. I hope you like this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.